What's up everybody, my name is Martin and welcome to a new video. So a little while back I made a video about a German World War II Rautarn Normandy Camouflage Chicken Wire Helmet, which is this one. And I think it turned out okay, but not very good. So uh, I got the opportunity to uh, do some other helmets for a shop. And I've been trying out some uh, some techniques, which I'm going to show you in this video. And it was a quite a uh, interesting process. Once again, learned uh, quite a lot along the way. So without further ado, let's go into the video and show you how I made this one. Let's go. Oh, you can't see my face. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Um, as you can see, I am currently working on the. Uh, on the concrete or cement I am using wall filler again because last time it turned out quite good and it dries pretty quick and it's almost the same um, consistency of uh, using cement or concrete but one of you guys said yeah but Concrete is uh, grey and wall filler is white. That's true. So I'm going to try use a little spray paint in there to make it a little greyer. I might want to add some water actually because this is it smells terrible though. And as you can see it is starting to get a little Grayish. Might want to add a little bit more. Not the best idea to do this indoors, but hey, I want to do it as correct as possible, so I need to have some gray cement. <clears throat> Gonna add a little bit of water because this is quite. Just a little bit more paint. This might turn out a little too dark, but I... Oh, this is actually kind of pretty good. Now we can start. So, I got my, uh, my mixture here. And I'm going to apply it on the helmet. Okay. Nicely coat the helmet with it. This is enough though. I'm gonna make a little bit more because this is not enough. Uh, I recommend not to do this with any uh, pets nearby because my cats are running around here. And uh, try to wear some old clothes because uh, yeah, my pants uh, are now covered in the, in the powder mixture. So. But yeah, whatever. Um, so I was telling you about a other technique. I have been dabbing the helmet just like the last time. So you have the little texture on there. But now I'm going 
to use uh, a sponge. Wait, let me see if I can bring you any, any closer to show you what I mean. <laughs> So, right here we have the helmet, got my sponge, and now I'm going to dab it like so. And you can see that this texture is way less than here, so that makes it even better. And you just want to dab it like so. might give you some tries because on this side it's getting quite coarse again so but on the top it is getting quite good okay I'm gonna continue this off camera and then I'll show you the end result in just a little bit so as you can see I am done and this is really really looking good way better than the, the first try that I did just look at it this is absolutely perfect so I am going to uh, let this dry and then we can uh, start uh, painting the helmet so I'm really excited how this is going to uh, turn out but for now I'm really happy with the uh, with the Rautarn uh, already so I'll be back in just a bit okay the helmet has been drying overnight and now I'm going to apply two layers of um, paint <coughs> and I'm going to use the Dunkelgelb again for the Normandy camouflage uh, I do two layers of uh, Dunker Gap, uh, just it is a bit more uh, protected. So I'm gonna spray paint it and show you uh, just a little bit of the process. First time when I uh, applied the uh, wall filler, I sanded it before spraying, but I didn't do it this time because I really want to have uh, the rough texture on there. That is the first layer. Oh man, it looks really good on camera though. Looks as, uh, also very good in uh, real life of course, but uh, this is the first time that I see it with paint on. So, I'm gonna let this dry for a bit and then I'll be coming back in, uh, in an hour or so to uh, apply the second layer. And after that, the other colors. So, off camera I uh, already did the second layer, because yeah, that was uh, basically the same process as the first layer. 
Um, it has been sitting out in the sun for a bit, so now I'm going to apply the uh, other two camouflage patterns or colors, which will be felt grau <coughs> and mud brown. So. Start off with the felt grow. This is looking absolutely beautiful. More green. Oh yeah, man. Check that out. How cool is that? Good. Well, now I'm gonna just fix this bit here and then I'm going to uh, let it dry again. And afterwards, I'm going to weather it a little bit. And I'm going to apply some uh, chicken wire on it as well. Alright, I am now done with the painting process and I wetted it just a little bit. Hello Sufi. <laughs> um, so I just took some, uh, some sand and a bit of gravel and uh, just let it fall down on the helmet so you get these little chips. Uh, you can see the sand also and it's just dust but uh man i'm so happy with the results so far this is way better than the first try and uh, at the end of the video i will show you a comparison just look at that texture really beautiful okay now i'm going to apply as you can see right there the chicken wire <coughs> and the way that we're going to do that it is actually quite a pain to do this let's see first we need to measure it out of course <coughs> so we take the chicken wire I think think about this this will do like so. so I'm going to get it right but now on that line Okay. Mm. 
<coughs> these are some really old pliers and as you can see there's a little gap in between so it's not the most ideal to cut but it still works so I'm going to stretch it up a little bit like so so the holes will become a bit more round instead of another shape I don't know what it's called in English make this a bit more easy to handle and as you can see right down the middle there is a other wire which I will uh, trim off camera because it's not uh, it's not good so I'll be right back so the wire in the middle is gone and now <coughs> we are going to fold the chicken wire over the helmet <coughs> quite an annoying process actually gonna lay it upside down for a bit Look at the inside, how nice that is done. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it is not supposed to be in there. Now I'm going to trim this for a bit, so it will be a little bit more easy to work with. Be right back. And we are done. Zoom in a little bit for you. Just look how neat this is. Turn around. That looks absolutely brilliant. This is way better than the first. But uh, yeah, this one is up for sale. So uh, sadly I cannot keep it. But uh, yeah, just look at it. Also you can see the little chips over there. That is what happens when you use it. But I'm super happy with this result. Also the uh, camouflage itself is on there. Really nice. Let me show you the inside for a bit. And yeah, you may say, oh, all these wires are sticking out, but I've seen it in original helmets and museums they were like so uh, like this so try to keep it as uh, authentic as possible of course I'm gonna give you a quick uh, side by side view of the uh, the other helmet that I did All right here they are this is the first one I like this chicken wire more actually but 
It was uh, really hard to come by, especially in small quantities. Absolutely brilliant. And of course I didn't do anything about this uh, inner helmet because it was just a cheap replica. I bought it for fun. Bought it to try it out. <clears throat> and this one is actually up for sale, so. Really good. Okay, so yeah, nice project. Just one more little close up because <laughs> I uh, can't show you enough. But yeah, uh, I learned quite a lot along the way again just by uh, using different um, techniques. I will do another video in the future um, for another, I will try another technique on there because yesterday I was busy with this and then I was thinking well I maybe can also try something else so I'm definitely gonna do that. Um, but yeah for now I think this turned out quite good, at least way better than, uh, than the helmet I did before. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask, leave a comment down below. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. And then I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!